Hello, my friends. This is Fat Pig. I'm back to solve this year's IMO problem. As you can see, I want to try something different this time. I'm going to put the problem to ChatGPT and ask it to provide us a solution. Sounds interesting, right? I'm sure that you all heard about ChatGPT. It can do SAT problems. It, it is able to write Python programs. It can also translate between languages. It is so amazing that it can do almost everything. So let's find out how good it is at IMO. Um, first of all, I'm going to put the copy paste the problem and let it repeat it. So the first problem is we are going to find all the positive integers, composite integers n, for which we can list out its positive divisors in the ascending order d1 equals to 1, smaller than d2, until dk equals to n, such that di divides di plus 1 plus di plus 2. So the previous um, divisor divides the sum of the next two divisors. So now I'm going to ask it to solve the problem. Can you um, help me solve the problem? Okay, let's see what ideas it comes up and check whether it makes sense or not. So I guess it start putting some, um, trying to understand the problem, d1 divides d2 plus d3, d2 divides d3 plus d4, so on and so forth. So at least it is able to understand the problem. And now let's see what it is trying to do. Okay. It's trying to put n as a prime factorization. So if n is composite, it try to write n into p to the power a times q to the power b, and try to order the divisors as one p p square p to the power and two p to the power a and q p q and so on. Well, this time it is not particularly um, correct because it could be that um, Q is smaller than P square, right? So, but at least it has some good ideas. It tried to um, inspect some small cases where we have only two prime devices and try to analyze whether this could satisfy the condition or not. Um, I wouldn't check very in details. Um, the following argument, it seems like it's trying to do some um, algebraic um, stuff and then try to convince itself that uh, p to the power a times q to the power b is a good solution, which, I mean, it's um, if you tried it, you can see it is really not. But anyway, it has some good ideas. I would say it is able to understand the problem. It is able to start with some um, good ideas but unfortunately i don't think it is able to completely solve the problem so if we put this on an imo paper i'm pretty sure that you are getting a zero score um, for this problem um, anyway it's a very interesting thing um, you can try it on your own as well because uh, ChatGPT is putting different like some random answers each time so let me know if you find something interesting and now I'm going to show you my solutions. Let me start with something really simple here. If di is a divisor of n, then I can write n as di times n over di. The reason that I want to put it this way is to emphasize that the second term is still an integer. So now I can collect all these second terms n over d1, n over d2, n over d3, and so on. By default, they are ordered. So now note that all these numbers are still divisor of n. So this new sequence must be identical to the original sequence. Knowing that the original sequence is ascending and this sequence is descending, so they must match each other in the reverse order. So we get dk equals to n over d1, dk minus 1 equals to n over d2, and so on. So to make it simple, we have dk plus 1 minus i equals to n over di. And this is the key property 
not recovered by ChatGPT. Now let's see how we can apply this property. The idea is to look at the sequence from the backward, where we have dk minus 2 divides dk minus 1 plus dk. And by default, dk minus 2 is a divisor of n, which equals to dk. So we get dk minus 2 divides dk minus 1. Now we can use this relation to invert the indices. So this translates into d2 divides d3. And now this is pretty cool, because by looking from the backward, we get d2 divides d3. And now we can look from the forward and hopefully get something from the backward. So let's do it. From d2 divides d3 and d2 divides d3 plus d4, we get d2 divides d4. And now we inverse it, we get dk minus 3 divides dk minus 1. Well, this is almost what we have, indeed, with dk minus 3 divides dk minus 1 and dk minus 3 divides dk minus 2 plus dk minus 1, we get dk minus 3 divides dk minus 2. So now you can see this is a simple induction argument. We can look at the backward, get something from the forward. By looking at the forward, get something from the backward. And at the end of the day, we will get d1 divides d2, d2 divides d3, d3 divides d4, until dk minus 1 divides dk. And this is a pretty strong requirement. So think about it. If we have two prime divisors, p and q, then p, q are co-prime. They are not dividing the each other. So they cannot be both in this sequence, and which is a contradiction. So basically, we cannot have two different prime divisors. So n must be the power of a prime number, which is p to the power k. Yeah, so hope you enjoy the video and see you next time. Bye bye.